Freshdesk ticketing system. Freshdesk tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Freshdesk for ticketing and much more. So let's get into it. First of all, what you guys need to do is you can open up freshworks.com and it will take you to Freshdesk. Freshdesk is a customer service platform that allows you to engage more meaningful conversations every day across every channel with your customers and build your business online. How to use it and how the ticketing system works within Freshdesk, that's what we will cover in this video. Video. So let's get into it. Once you get to a fresh desk, you have to sign up. So you can click on free trial. You can sign up with a Google account or use an email address. After the initial sign up process, you will get right here. This is our dashboard that we get on fresh desk. So let me show you around. Here we have our dashboard, tickets, contacts and companies. Then we have social, solutions, forums, analytics and admin and at the bottom right here we have fresh work switcher which allows us to switch between the different apps that we have on fresh work we are using fresh desk because it is for customer service and it gives us the ticketing system so here is an example dashboard in front of you here we have our main dashboard and it shows us our main overview we have our unresolved tickets that we have overdue due dates open on hold and unassigned so this way i will be able to get a very quick idea that what's happening uh, within my customer support then we have get started option here and then we also have a new option that allows us to quickly add a ticket email contact or company so let's get into it and first of all we will have to enter a contact so this is our contact list right here you can see it says contact we have titles companies email addresses work phone facebook and twitter we can also export and import contact list or we can add a contact manually click on new contact and it will allow you to add one you have to enter a full name title email address work email and more details so here we have a new contact which is John and he is a manager. Now we can enter the email address and then we can also enter their social media, phone number, company and more. If you want to associate a contact to a company then you can go ahead and select a company from here or create a new company for that person. We also have different tags and we have time zones that will help us customize our customers. Click on create and a new contact will be created manually right here. Once the contact is created, we will be able to create a ticket within that contact. We also have edit option, delete, merge, assume identity, convert to agent, send activation email, change password and more. In order to create a new ticket for this customer right here, we have three ways to create a ticket. I can go to the ticket section and create a new ticket. We have a new option right here, which is a quick new ticket option, and I can create one from here. And then we also have the ticket option available here. That will allow me to create a new ticket, you can see. So I'm going to click right here. And here we can create a new ticket for the contact. So the contact is added right here automatically. We have an email address, or I can select one. Then we have our subject. So the subject for this ticket is actually a signing up problem. Then we have type. So it is a problem. We also have different types such as question, incident or a feature request. Then we have phone. This is the source. So in source, we have phone status. So this is where I can customize the status for the ticket. We have open, pending, resolved, closed or waiting on customer. So I'm going to go with the open one right here. We have priority. We're going to set the priority to high. Then we have group. So I can add this uh, ticket to different groups such as billing, customer support and escalations because with Freshdesk, we also have billing and escalations. So it will allow us to customize it. So I'm going to go to the customer support right here and agent. So this is where we select an agent for the ticket. We can add different agents to our company with this admin option right here. Now we have to enter a description for the ticket that we have created. So for now, I'm just going to write signing a problem. Scroll down, we have a reference number and then we have different tags. Click on create and a new ticket will be created. 
Creating a ticket on Freshdesk is really easy. And you can see now we have a new ticket created by me. We have our customer. Then we have reply, add note, and forward. This is the status where we have open. It'll show me the properties as well. Tax, status, priority, group, and other things. Then we have contact details right here. And we also have time logs that we can go for and a to-do list. So you can see the ticket is very impressive. We also have add note reply option and more. So I'm going to click on reply and it will allow me to quickly reply to Joan about this ticket. Then we also have merge. So if I want to merge this ticket with any other ticket that I have, I can do so and perform a bulk action. We also have show activity and hide activity. So with show activity, it'll show me the activities that have been done uh, for this ticket. So you can see this is how the ticket works. And if I go to the ticket option right here, it'll show me the new ticket that we just created. And it will also show me the previous tickets right here. We have all of the different details right here. So this is actually pretty impressive. Similarly, I can create a new company as well. We have solutions and forums. In forums, we have views and categories. So in views and categories, we have all activity here. Then we have analytics. Analytics is an important part of a customer service and a ticketing system because we want to get these stats and analytics of what's happening within our uh, customer service and we can also get the feedback right here. So here we have our analytics and I'll be able to create a new report. Click on new report and it will show you the stats and you can create a professional report. We can have more than one pages within a report. We have different widgets that we can add such as gallery, we have charts, text and images as well. So this is how you create a report. So we also have feedback right here that will allow you to actually send the feedback to give the feedback to Freshdesk and improve. So this is how the ticketing system within the Freshdesk works. It will allow you to improve your customer service and run a successful business online. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if this tutorial was a big help to you. I tried to do everything about the topic and I hope that you understood everything and now you are good to go. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question.